Hi, in this Quicksoft's tutorial, we will cover how to import a mesh. To import a mesh, we have three methods. The first is to open it through the welcome screen. The second is through the main toolbar. And the final one is through the main button. When you click on one of the buttons, you can choose any mesh or point cloud file and simply import it. I will open this large STL. You will get a prompt to specify the units of the points as they are saved in the file. File formats such as STL and PLY do not store any information about the units, so you will need to submit your own data. I will use millimeters for my option. Once loaded, the mesh will simply appear on the screen. In many cases, there is an unnecessary amount of triangles and meshes, so you may want to reduce the number of triangles in your mesh. If we check the amount of triangles before polygon reduction, it is 44 million. To complete a polygon reduction, go to Scan Data, Reduce Polygons, and fill in your preferred reduction. In my case, I want to reduce it down to 10% of its original triangles. You can either adjust the target number of triangles or the percentage. Click Preview to see the reduced mesh. To keep the accuracy, you can use this option to check the deviation between the reduced mesh and the original mesh. As you can see, with 0.01 millimeters of deviation, it is almost a perfect reduction. If you are happy with the results, simply click OK. As you can see, the software gives you the option to keep the original mesh. However, in my case, I will just completely swap it with the reduced variant of the mesh. If you want to export the simplified mesh, you can click on Scan Data, Export, or simply right click on it in the hierarchy and click Export from here. Let's try this again with another file format. I will open this PLY project. Again, I'll check the triangle count before the polygon reduction, which is 2 million. Then I will go to scan data, reduce polygons, and set it down to 10% of the original triangles. If we again check the deviation, it is a very good fit. We can click OK. I will load in this new file. If you notice, it is a different color than usual. This is because its normals are backwards. This, however, is an easy fix, and all you need to do is to go to Scan Data and click Flip Normals. As you can see, it has changed color and is now ready to be used to make a new CAD model. The next file format we will cover is PTX. This is a point cloud. If I open this file, you will notice that Quicksoft opens up a menu which gives you the option to triangulate and change the units of the mesh. I will check Convert to Mesh and I will see that some new options come up. What the triangulation does is it finds the neighboring points and forms triangles out of these points. The neighboring points have to have a maximum distance that they can be used to make triangles. The automatic option means the software will find the value by itself based on the scan data. However, 
For more advanced cases, you may want to use a custom amount. If we click OK with automatic checked, the software will load this data in. The new triangulated mesh can now be used as regular scan data, such as an STL file. Some PTX files consist of multiple scans. If we import one of these, and again click automatic, you'll see that the software imports the scan data one by one and constructs them into one file, like so. With this data, you can save it as a project or even just export it as an STL. I hope this video was useful and thank you for watching.